Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are doing a salt water flush. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, click that subscribe button right now and let's get right into this video. All right, so today we are doing a salt water flush. What a salt water flush does is it flushes out um, your colon and you are going to go to the bathroom a lot. Sorry, if you don't like these type of videos, then click out and go check out the rest of my videos because I have a lot of good ones. So salt water flush is not for everybody. It's kind of for somebody who's trying to detox. Um, you can't have diabetes. You can't have high blood pressure. Uh, what else? What else? And I'm not an expert. I have done a salt water flush a long time ago. One time. I did it a long time ago. It was like years ago. Um, and it worked pretty good to kind of flush out my system. So recently I was trying out intermittent fasting because intermittent fasting helps get rid of that stubborn belly fat um, that's just like kind of stored there and never wants to leave, which is my type of belly fat. Um, but it, I feel like it slowed down my metabolism even more. Um, I don't know if that's happened or if it's just for a different cause, but I have been extremely constipated and not using the bathroom as much and I'm I want to kind of flush my body to get it ready to start that intermittent fasting again for next week so I'm gonna show you the before and after of my belly um, I've just woken up they say it's best to do it in the morning when you just wake up or oh and I'm conditioning it's best to do it in the morning when you first wake up or you can do it in the evening a few hours after your last meal if you eat late then because mm, you're gonna be in the bathroom for a few hours I think I think like it takes like maybe like one to two hours to kind of like just clear your system so make sure you don't have somewhere to go before you drink this salt water cleanse um, which is kind of stupid of me because I have somewhere to go later but I still have a little bit of time but I have a few errands to run before so I don't know but let's do this so don't do this salt water flush with regular salt. You're gonna take some sea salt. This is my sea salt, it's nice and pink. And then it says to take four cups of water, but I never like measure things out or do things like that. So I'm just gonna take my water bottle and I'm gonna put the salt in it. You're supposed to take two teaspoons of the salt and put it into the water. I'm literally gonna eyeball this. All right, I'm gonna say that's one teaspoon. that is two so you see it's not that much salt in there i'm gonna add a little bit more it's not that much salt in there you're not trying to like get salt overload i don't know if that's a thing and i'm just using this little bit of water but i have my second water bottle right here so that i can continue to drink my water um last time i drank this a few years ago when i did the salt water flush the hardest part about it wasn't really the going to the bathroom because it doesn't like it's not like it's gonna give you cramping or anything like that um it's just drinking this is like nasty it's like it's so salty and like disgusting before I drink it, I'm going to show you guys my belly. So this is my belly this morning before the salt water flush. I don't want to lift it. I'm going to lift it up. Like a tiny baby belly <laughs> and then after the flush I'm gonna come back and show you guys the after belly to see if it flattened itself out a little bit like oh my god it's so early in the morning and I feel like I'm getting a suntan from all of the Sun so let me hurry up drink my salt water cleanse flush whatever you want to call it and later come back and show you guys the after The reason I, I like to do it like this is because this is so nasty that I like to have the fresh water ready to just chug after a big ugh of saltiness. Oh. 
you're also supposed to drink it really quickly so you shouldn't drink a little bit put it off to the side go do something else just stay there drink it all get it over with and let it work it should start working kind of immediately also if you're pregnant please don't do a salt water flush please don't do it So I finished my two bottles of water. I'll probably go drink a little bit more water and I'll be back when I'm done. Good luck to me. Hey guys, I'm back. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 12.02 p.m. So it's 12.02 p.m. I believe I did the cleanse. It was like 9.30, 9.40. Um, I thought it was gonna be like super instant because I remember a few years ago when I did it, maybe I had more salt back then and it was like the effects were like instant I was going to the bathroom. It took probably about half an hour so it probably started, the effects probably started around like 10 o'clock, um, 10, 10.30 and then I was there for quite a while. Um, but yeah, I feel like the effects have kind of worn off now. So I'm gonna show you guys my belly, see if you guys see anything different. I certainly feel maybe cleaner, um, less bloated, ready to start my fasts um, next week. And yeah, obviously this is not something that you're going to do every day. This is not something you're gonna do every week. This is something that you might do like once every six months or so. I don't even know. Just when you feel like you need a deep, cleansing of your body or if you're like extremely constipated etc etc anyways let me show you guys my belly this is my belly after i don't know that it shows much difference let me show you guys maybe a little But yeah, I definitely feel much better. So anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you were looking for some information on a saltwater cleanse or a saltwater flush, whatever you might want to call it, um, I hope that I provided that information to you guys. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will be posting a lot more videos. Leave a comment in the description box below if you've ever tried a saltwater flush. If you've ever um, done it, have you done anything different? Um, what kind of results did you get? I would love to know and hear more. Maybe I did it wrong and you guys have other um, different ways of doing it. Maybe better ways of doing it. Also, leave me a comment down below and let me know any videos that you want me to make. Is there anything that you want me to try? I will try it. Leave a comment down below. I mean, I'll try it depending on what it is. So leave some suggestions down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching.